Our Haley Morgan checked in on residents without power and talked with GMP about when folks can expect their electricity restored. Thousands of Vermonters left in the dark after Tropical Storm Debbie slams the state. And usually when the power goes down, it's like maybe a couple hours max, um, so just kind of let it be. But last night came home around probably 1030 and the power was still out. Cassie Lathrop lives in downtown Winooski, and she says her street lost power Friday afternoon after a transformer blew up in front of her house. She says she called the electric company several times and got no answer of when the power would be back on, so all she can do is sit and wait. With the clouds, we didn't have much light, can't really do much. It's funny to walk into a room and still kind of flip the light on out of habit and have it not turn on. Um, this has been the longest I've been without power when things have gone down in Vermont before. But after nearly 24 hours in the dark, Green Mountain Power fixed the issue, turning Lathrop's lights back on. Although GMP can't say the same for others. Roughly 9,000 people are still waiting for their turn. Crews have restored power to more than 36,000 customers so far and are working against time to get the electricity going again. The storm caused widespread damage all over the state, with the most severe damage in the Champlain Valley. Valley. A tree on the lines on Governor Peck Road in Richmond has dozens of people without power. It was just really, really windy. It didn't really rain that much, but uh, obviously took out a lot of trees. We actually drove out through this. It was a little higher uh, about an hour ago. It must have come down a bit more. We didn't have power when we left. That was about an hour, and a, an hour ago. GMP says they prepared for Debbie, but didn't expect her wrath to be as strong as it was. This storm hit so hard, harder than forecasted, with strong winds that uprooted trees and caused a lot of damage that crews are facing and repairing right now for customers. Electric companies are across the state tell us that crews are not going to stop until all the lights are turned back on. But remember, if you see down power lines like the ones here, do not go underneath them. Reporting in Richmond, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.